What is cracking guys, JP here again, bring you another update of my 90 gallon reef tank build. Alright, so tonight, I finished the plumbing 90%. Alright, so we'll walk through it. So this is what it looks like, very very simple, very effective and functional. So we'll go for from right to left, okay? So here's the drain. This go these lines goes to the overflow box, drain to the union to the gate valve and into the filter stock chamber. Secondary drain for a trickle goes down here to a T. I'll talk to that later. Goes to the T, goes to a union and to the filter stock chamber. Water flows to the filter stock, to the skimmer, to the refugium or algae scrubber section, to the return. This is a CJ ADV7. Uh, I'm gonna connect this to the to, with uh, silicone plumbing, soft silicones to prevent or remove any excess vibration. Goes up here to another spigot, and this goes straight up like that. And this, I need still need to glue this. I'm still debating on how how long I'm gonna do this to a T. Now, either it goes up back to the aquarium or goes to the right to a manifold system. So this valve right here, in case if I want to do some maintenance in this side, I can shut this. So, let's see if it turns. <laughs> I need to, ooh, does it even turn? Should turn, yeah, there we go. It's hard to do one hand. <laughs> All right, goes to this, uh, ball valve into the first T. Now these are all one inch to one half. So the, I have not glued this yet. So these are all one half um, ball valves. Now in the bottom, I still need to uh, think uh, if I need to you know, attach these to something like a refugium, a, uh, another calcium reactor or an, another reactor for like GFO or carbon reactor. So I'll think about that. Well, at least I have three. Now, we have our ball valve here. And this is normally closed for operation. But if I want to clean the sump, like I'm going to stir up the detritus in the sump, then I'll just basically turn this. And now, instead of going back to the return to the aquarium, it will go back flow. And push all of this gunk inside and then go back to the secondary drain, which will go back to the filter sock and basically recycle back and forth like that. So, very effective cleaning for the sump. Yeah. The sec, uh, once, once I'm done, I'll just shut this. There we go. And then the water will push back. Since it doesn't have nowhere to go here, it will go back to the aquarium up to the return. So, yeah. I have this design from my old 75, so I'm implementing it again. And this is very effective. I like this very very simple design, but effective, you know? All right. Now, uh, we'll go back to the return. Water goes back up to the back, up to the tube, and into this ball valve. Now this ball valve will just uh, control how much uh, back pressure I want to do or how much flow. And then it goes up to the, uh, I got the uh, pipe clamp support. This is the one inch IPS at Menards. And I have about three inch of space because that's how much I want to do for the curve. I don't want to uh, uh, stress the pipes. And also I have the uh, union and the sweep here. So like I said, it goes to the ball valve to a pipe clamp, to a sweep, to a union, and then inside I have another sweep, a union, and the last sweep right there. So why did I went with this? Well, this one is much more smoother. Uh, the problem with the uh, Flex PVC is it there's only there's for one inch there's 14 inch of a curve. So um, you know, you can't go less than 14 inch because it would be too much to have a curve to make a U at least. So what I did is 
like I said, I got the sweep and then I got this union. In case if I want to, for example, if I want to the return to be in the middle here, I'll just get the union out, put uh, another assembly to make this section longer. To make it long like this or here or have two. Depends on the future if I want to change it. So that's there. Second part is the union down here. In case if I want to change the direction of my return, there we go. I'm not stuck with one directional. So yeah, if I want to, if I feel like the curls needs more flow this way, I'll change it that way. If I want to change, if I need more this way, I'll change it that way. So yeah. So it's not stuck on one. So yeah. Now, since it's a union, if I want to make these deeper, then I can change it too. So, haha, -ha, pretty good. And then, once uh, in here, I'm gonna attach the uh, random flow generator uh, spigot or nozzle in here so that I'll have some random uh, flow going around. Now, the flow will basically go this way back to the overflow right there. Overflow, the water will overflow in the back. Overflow. This big chamber here. I have not attached the uh, inside yet. I already have it ready just in case. You know. So like I said, there's the main drain. Straight down. Secondary drain. Straight down. And emergency overflow. Kind of curves this way. And into the other side. Now I could grab one of these... Uh, I don't know. Okay, so it will be pushed a little bit, but it doesn't really matter. Uh, so the emergency overflow goes over here that I made this uh, V-shaped acrylic. It goes down like that. Now this tape is just to hold this down just a little bit so that I can measure if it lines up with the uh, mount or hole of this to the hole of this. So yeah. Looks pretty good. Like it so far. Now, why I have a slight uh, decline of this, because in case if I want to do cleaning and m make sure it's fully dry, I can. Uh, the water will actually gravity fed down to the drain, and this will be dry. So there won't be any water stuck in here, and then the detritus will actually. Uh, get pushed that way but since there's so much water flow it's gonna going go be going this way I don't know if it's gonna matter but it's just a very slight it's not it's not too bad you probably won't notice it so yeah and I also have a leftover red PVC pipe collar right there and I added that in <laughs> and how I made all of this is I just I did not even have to dry plumb it as much. I just go uh, along on the way. So if I wanna, uh, so I basically work on this for, uh, part here, and then I glue this here, and then I just glue this flex PVC here, and then cut uh, a little bit longer section. And then once I know what uh, how far uh, this T is, then I'll just mark it plus one inch, and then cut it out. And then glue it in and it just it works every time for me and this is my method though I don't have to go on the floor start gluing stuff and dry plumbing it because dry plumbing it you have to insert it kind of three-fourths and sometimes it's hard to take out so <laughs> I guess uh, most of the one inch actually have a one inch uh, you know you have to push it one inch if it works for you sometimes they come up kind of come out so it's not a perfect one inch but I like it doing this way. Alright, looks pretty good though. That uh, return is actually just, I would say the top of this is just a half an inch low uh, on the water. Just in case if there's any uh, splashing or the water is really coming out, then I won't have any uh, big waves above. And then for the random overflow or the random generator, will actually like 
spin around here too. So yeah, not too bad. You probably won't notice that anyway. Alright, well, uh, thanks for watching, guys. And happy reef keeping. Adios.